Rams Stadium tonight. The Indiana Indians invade Highlands to play the Highlands Golden Rams. Along with the Dean, Mike Choma, this is Mike Pavlik. Cameraman Dan is upstairs. A home game in the Greater Allegheny Conference, Dean. A, a, a chance for the Rams to get back on the winning track. Uh, they had a loss last week against a tough plum team. Indiana comes into this game 2-2. Two and two. The Rams are 1-3. and three. They're looking up at the Indians, but things are also looking up for the Rams. Yeah, Mike, Indiana's a two-game win streak, so it's important we try to take the momentum away from them. But, you know, last week we played a really good plum team, and we cleaned things up. Penalties were down to only 35 yards. Didn't have those false starts starting first and 15. No fumbles and special teams that were improved. So, again, I think we bring that in the ninth game. I think we should be in pretty good shape. I think the running games of both of these teams are going to be the key to this game. The Highlands running game offensively has kind of left them. And over the last two games, they've run it 32 times for 77 yards, taking the sacks out. Those are just designed running plays. And in the last two weeks, opponents are averaging 5.1 yards a carry against this Highlands defense. They only allowed 2.8 yards the first two weeks. Yeah, Mike, it's been a tell two seasons. Against Knock, option, we shut them down. We tackled everybody. Against Mars, we keyed on Teddy Ruffner, held him to under 100 yards. Only team to do that. He had 281 last week. But the last two weeks, third string running back gets from Hampton runs for 150 yards against us. Eric Moore last week against Plum ran for 147. Here's the good news tonight. Indiana runs the same offense that Knock ran. So we're going to see that option. We just have to tackle everybody and hopefully we pick the right guy. And if you tackle everybody, <laughs> you have picked the right guy. Their quarterback, Devin Flint, ran for 131 yards last week. And as you said, they run the Knock offense, so the quarterback will run the ball. He'll be somebody they'll have to key on. Highlands being able to run the ball and stopping the run is going to be a big help to sophomore quarterback Chandler Timmons. Yeah, my Chandler's played well so far this year. Threw for 122 last week against Plum. That's the tenth straight week he's had 100 plus yards passing. You go back to six in a row when he was a freshman four this year. Thrown for 648 yards, eight touchdowns. Verde has Highlands winning 28 to 14. Should be a high scoring one. Let's see. Kickoff brought to you by the Anchor Inn and the Trona Heights are open 11 to 8 Monday through Saturday. Call 724-224-9910 for takeout. The Anchor Inn, Freeport Road, Natrona Heights. Welcome aboard. Highlands won the toss. They deferred their option. Dom Girardi wants to put the defense on the field. They'll kick it off. And DJ Loveland does the honors to the near side of the field, and it's taken by number 26. Bumble. That's Harrington. We got a loose football. The Rams say they have it. They do. It's Landon Signorella with it. He Indiana. made the original hit, Mike, and then he ball rolled right into him. Great job by Landon. Indiana fumbling the opening kickoff. We talked about the Rams cleaning up their mistakes, and what happens is that their special teams got have gotten better, and this is the thing that's going to help them. And the Rams get a short porch first down at the Indiana 17-yard line, and there's Chandler. Made the original hit, Mike. Then he rolled off the ball. He didn't realize it was out to roll back over and right. And Harrington left. is Great their number one. Yeah, Harrington Harrington's their number one running back, so that that's a help for the Rams. Here we go, first and ten at the 17 yard line. Now we have whistles already yep. before they start. Mention Chandler Tim is a quarterback. The running back is Brock White. Wide receiver number 10, DJ Loveland. Elijah Coleman, number three. Caleb White is the other wide out. Where's number two? Mike, let's not start this again. Here we go with the penalties. And the Rams had cleaned those up a week ago, only committing three of them. Rams uh, plus two on the takeaway department. First down and 15. Timmons going to throw Open. it over the It's caught by White. 15-10. We got a Hilux touchdown. Caleb White on the slant. 22 yards in the Rams strike. First offensive play of the game, Mike. We said he was to try to take the momentum away from Indiana coming here on a two-game win streak, and that's the way you do it, Mike. 22 yards, and just like that, the Rams scoring off the turnover. Great start. Landon Signorella is the holder, and DJ Loveland, five for five on extra points this year. Caleb White, sixth catch of the season, and Loveland's kick is on its way. It's high enough. It's long enough. It's good. Highland seven, Indiana nothing. And, Mike, we have a big crowd here tonight. We've let a lot more people in. Some of them just settling into their seats, and the Highlands Little Rams jump up. Seven to nothing. Joe Lucchino and son Joseph Priley welcome to the Lucchino Insurance and Financial Group, serving the AK Valley for decades. Lucchino's our broad-based financial advisory firm with a wide range of opportunities for both you and your business. 
Mike, this is Medicare month. Everybody has to make the decision. Lakinos can help you do that. So again, they're located at 2318 Freeport Road next to Donut Connection. Call them today, 724-224-8908 or 724-905-7583. Why wait? Let Lakino Insurance and Financial Group put you on the road of financial stability today. Lots of decisions to make for the Medicare people. They'll help you. It took the Rams 14 seconds and they lead it seven to nothing. I sent a screenshot of the new for, that's a ninth touchdown pass of the year for Chandler Timmons. It is the first touchdown reception for Caleb White. We mentioned his sixth catch, and the Rams strike on the slant, and they lead the Indiana team seven to nothing. All right. Well, let's Great see if start with special teams. They want to kick it to Harrington again. I don't know. On the near side of the field now for Indiana, they've made a little bit of a switch up, and they get it to the quarterback. This is Devin Flint, and Flint is hit and dropped at the 22-yard line. So the Rams with good coverage again. Getting down there is Khalil uh, Long, who we've been talking about off-camera before the game started tonight. So Khalil made us look good, didn't he? Yep, along with our kicker, Loveland. I still like to see him play safe to them, Mike. But he's a defender. He knows to try to get back. Devin Flint, the quarterback, was the man that uh, took that ball. The starting lineups tonight will be brought to you by Dan Timmons Painting and Natrona Heights since 1979. For all your commercial, industrial, and painting needs, stores, schools, and churches, they got you covered. They'll run three running backs. You mentioned 26, Zach Harrington. 32 is Corbin Wilson. And 28 is Josiah Johnson. And they gave us to Harrington through the middle, and he doesn't have much room. The sledding is tough as he gets it up to the 24-yard line. Drake Burford was one of the men down there, and Jeremiah Saunders, number four. Along with Joaquin Roman. Like their offensive line, they start uh, number 63, Jake McCracken. They're going faster, so we'll get to the rest of the line after this play. Second and eight for the Indians. Up, oh, jump. Liam McFarland, the sophomore, went in motion, but somebody jumped, so we'll see what the penalty is. Looks like this was on Highlands. That'll be their second one already. Looked like Nelson jumped too fast. Left guard, 78, Tanner Smith. Center, 58, Garrett, Gavis, Gavin Furbish. Right guard, 71, Matt Nelson. Right tackle, 55, Gavin Millen. Wide receiver, 13, Aaron Nickus. And 83, Gavin Bernard. And you'll also see 15, Liam McFarlane, a sophomore. He was actually the man in motion on that one, so he gets time out there, too. They they rotate a lot, especially on defense. We didn't get a chance to talk about it yet. They rotate seven defensive linemen. This is Flint, the quarterback, tries to nudge it ahead, gets close to a first down, and I believe he has it up at the 23-yard line, down at the bottom of the pile for the the Rams with Jeremiah Nelson, but it's first down Indiana. 53 on the tackle. A four-yard gain, Indiana's first first down of the night. And that's what they want to do, Mike, grind it up. But again, Golden Rams on the board first, helps them. A beautiful 70-degree night at Golden Rams Stadium. The Rams jump again. They're, they're biting on the Harrington motion. And that time it was Nelson jumping offside. And Second time. It, why a defensive lineman needs to jump offside when there's motion by it. Like, Especially when you're in yeah. tackle when the ball's in front of you. You don't move till the ball moves. You mentioned Jeremiah Nelson, defensive ends are 52, Joaquin Roman, and 43, Tyler Bender. We mentioned Khalil Long also getting in there. Linebacking for 22, Brock White, 53, Kyron Long, 4, Jeremiah Saunders, 55, Tyrus Kern, 11, is Jake Burford. Rams average nine penalties for 70 yards. They give us to Harrington, and there's nothing doing there. Harrington may be a yard up to the 39-yard line, and there's Nelson in there again. Nelson along with Tyrus Kerr. So it'll be second down and four for Indiana on the Highlands 39. 9.45 left first quarter. Highlands leads 7 nothing. That's McFarland in motion. They tried it again. The Rams didn't jump that time. <laughs> but a linebacker jumped. It's like, let him go in motion. That's his job. And they're going to run the option. Flint has it. Oh, and he's hit. He's dropped at the 39-yard line as... Joaquin Big Joaquin Roman. came in to meet him at the cross point there, and there was no running room and for Devin Tyrus Flint. Kerr. Yep, Joaquin and Tyrus put him down. That's the key, Mike. You got to take that quarterback, hit him every time. We know that. Cornerbacks for Highlands 20 is Landon Signorella, 2 is Caleb White, 10 is DJ Loveland. Big third down play here. Flint only threw it three times against Knock last week in their 29 6 victory up in Indiana. He completed them all, however. <laughs> 
Andy Kuznetsky Field. There's the give to McFarland. He's close. He yeah. might have it. Again, the first down will be made by the penalty, really. it's They only gained four or five yards, but that's all they needed because the Rams gave them five. It is first down Indiana. Chiron Long and Nelson in the stop. Well, you're right, Mike. Three penalties so far for 15 yards. I think it's the first time we've been wrong in a pregame. I said we cleaned that up. Well, there's plenty of time to clean it up. Don't commit any more. Yes. The world's biggest mosquitoes flying around in here. That's just what we need. Yeah, I tried. I missed. Give it to Harrington through the middle, and Harrington squirts his way up through the 45 to about the 48-yard line. Down at the bottom of the pile for the Rams was the Kerr. 53 Tyrus Kerr. Or Chiron Long, I'm sorry. That's who it was, 53 Chiron Long. But Harrington squirts ahead. He got about five. Mike, you give a running team five yards a pop, they're never going to throw it. And that's the key. Second and five for the Indians, just this side of the 50. Harrington again. And they give it to Harrington again. He bulls his way ahead. And they're getting some good push on that offensive line down into Highlands territory to the 47-yard line where Jeremiah Nelson meets them. Joaquin Roman Nelson on the stop. But again, that first push, Mike, they're getting four yards. And this has been a problem for Highlands the last couple weeks as they've been dominated up front by... The Hampton line, especially two weeks ago, and the Plum line last week. They did a good job stalemating Mars here two weeks ago. Three weeks ago. Yeah, like you said, the first two weeks have been dominant on defense. Last two, not so. Third and one. This is the quarterback, Flint. Keeps it, and he's got the first down to the Highlands 45-yard line where Tyler Bender brings him down. But that's the third first down for Indiana on this series. All on the ground, and again, Mike, Harrington went through the originally, and Quarterback just followed him right through the hole. Easy picking. You know, that game last week. The, There's movement there. There is. Got the jump. game last week, Dean, Plum held the ball it for 32 ride, minutes and 20 right? seconds, and Highlands had it for 1540. We're seeing that all over again right here. Our referee tonight is Norm Scarberry, line judge Tom Burchick, field judge Chris Scully, umpires David Green. Head linesman Gordon Craycroft and the side judges Ray Betko. Put it back at the 50. That's the first Indiana penalty in the night. First and 15 for the Indians. 640 left, first quarter. The clock winds. Highlands leads seven to nothing. They scored a grand total of 14 seconds in. That's the way I like it. And they give us to Harrington. Tries to lean ahead. He's in the arms of Tyler Bender as he gets it down to the Highlands 47 yard line. <laughs> Two things, starting first and 15 and only getting three yards helps high, that's for sure. Absolutely. Second and 12, Indiana at the Highlands 47. Halfway through this first quarter on a beautiful night at Golden Rams Stadium. Flag was blown earlier now, Mike. It's yeah, like, the yeah, wind about five miles an hour at the start. The temperature was 70, so that's a beautiful night for this time of year. Sure is. The, Harrington, again. Harrington had a little trouble with the handoff, but juggled it for a moment, but got good yardage down to the Highlands 41. Kerr again on the stop. Decent yardage, though, again. Third and six for Indiana. This could be the first possibility of a passing down for them, although you figure if they're in four-down territory, the run's still in play. Aaron Nickus splits out here to the left. He must feel like the lonesome end right now. They haven't even looked to throw it. They beat Knox last week, 29-6. to six. When they came into the year, their starting quarterback was supposed to be Fox Van Leer. I kind of hope he played because it's just a great name. Find out what happened to him, Mike. Deep thigh bruise, never recovered. Oh, goodness. Now, Ooh, there he that, that's a pass. pass. That's incomplete. Now they're going to. Yeah. That's incomplete. It flint threw it ahead, and it's fourth down. Either way, it works out for the Rams. Brock White put the pressure on him. So on the 12th play of the drive, it took them 12 plays, and they've made it all the way to the Highlands 41. Yeah, Mike Fox, Van Leer, hurt himself in deep. Those can be nasty. Yeah. And 
they've come in and taken this job. Mr. Indiana's leaving the offense on the field. This will be the 13th play of the drive. Fourth down and six. Now again, offside doesn't get the first down, but makes it easier. That's what they're trying to do. Yeah. They had the motion man, Johnson, try to come to the near side. Play clock down to five. They're going. And Flint's going to roll to the right. He looks. Fires it downfield. Almost, almost intercepted. It's all right that it wasn't. Highlands turns the ball over. Brock White, who was outstanding on defense a week ago at Plum, makes another good play to bat that down, and it's Highlands football. Flint like a 5'10", 160-pound junior. You know, here's something. We talked about the 32 minutes of possession that Plum had last week. This would be a nice thing for Highlands to keep the ball for a while because I really think our defense wore down at the end last week. 100% agree with you. That's true. They played well, but they, you know, they, they wore down. First down Highlands at their own 41-yard line. They lead at 7-0. Highlands one play, touchdown. Let's see if we can do it again, Mike. I like this kind of drive. Here's the give to White. Oh, he tries to spin and turn, but the play was made. The original hit by Tanner Smith, the senior defensive end, to knock White off his feet. Offensive line for the Golden Rams. They get introduced to White because we scored so quickly. 55, left tackle Tyrus Kerr. Left guard is 53, Kyron Long. Center is 72, Daniel Timmons. 50 is right guard, Jeremiah Nelson. 52, right tackle, Joaquin Roman. And the tight end is number four, Jeremiah Song. Remember to beautify and protect. Call Dan Timmons Painting, 724-224-2851. Dan Timmons Painting, they got you covered. This is Chandler Timmons firing to the near side of the field. It's caught by Elijah Coleman, but he's quickly wrestled to the turf at the 44-yard line. Coming up to get him was McFarland, or I'm sorry, uh, Zach Harrington, the uh, safety man. We did a lot of this last week, Mike. These little quick passes. Hoping somebody breaks the tackle. Coleman did that time, but the second wave got him. Second pass by Timmons tonight. The first was the touchdown to Caleb White. Third down, six. Highlands with the ball at their 45. Less than four to go first quarter. The Rams lead 7 nothing. Indiana plays a 4-3-4 defense. We want to do some... Hopefully after this play, we get the first down. Timmons back, looking, in trouble, oh, steps uh, up, he's going down. and he's sacked at the 42-yard line. Brought down by 58, Gavin Prebish, the senior defensive end. First sack of the night. Now the Rams have cleaned that up. He was sacked seven times at Hampton two weeks ago, only once a week ago at Plum. Well, Mike, so far negative yardage and rushing again. Both Chandler Timmons and Brock White. Fourth and eight. Bombalski Luke Kombalski is back to kick it. The single safety is Devin Flint standing back at his 29. He does everything, huh? Kombalski averaging 28 oh, a kick. Now. Gets it out of there and kicks a line shot. Oh, God, it's coming back. Flint takes it at the 28. Flint is hit, Dick gets away. 30, but brought down beautifully on a good special teams tackle by Brian Randolph for the Rams at the 33-yard line. Nice tackle by Randolph. Got him by the ankles. That's what you got to do with these guys. 29-yard punt, four-yard return. First down, Indiana at the 33-yard line. The 32 ish. Yes. In that 29 to 6 win, Flynn had two touchdowns and so did Zach Harrington, the running back. Flynn broke one. Flynn broke one for 60 yards against Plum Bike. There goes Indiana, first and 10. The quarterback has it. This is Flint. Flint is hit hard. The ball is out at the 39, is it? The official, the official was more interested in the extracurricular activity that was going on and wasn't looking to see if the ball was on the turf. But Nelson, Signorella, and Kerr. But again, that's fake. Everybody went for the halfback. Got to tackle them all. Harrington now. Eight carries already. Second and three. Hey, I'm at the uh, Highlands game, so I'll call you back. They're checking the uh, wristbands there. Ten seconds left on the play clock. 
And the give through the middle for close to a first down. And let's see, that was Flint keeping it to the 41. I think, I don't know where the linesman on our side of the field has it. Is he short? But the linesman on the, the head linesman over there says, take it, first down. Saunders and Burford in on a stop, but not until they make that first down. They go quick, Mike. Yeah, they do. First down at the 42. 16th offensive play for them. Highlands has four. Same old story. I wonder if they're like Sean Loyal who wants to get 60 plays in a game. Last week, Plum had 63 plays and Highlands 42. Now they're going to try the end around. Coming around is Corbin Wilson, but the Rams get him off his feet for a loss on the play. Brock White got him. He stayed home, Mike. That's he did. The key. Yep. So they're going to give him right back to the original line of scrimmage, second and ten. Saunders slid him in the backfield, and White made a nice play. So, again, this is where we want to keep him, second and ten. That's the first player other than Harrington or Flint to run the football. Clock winds to a minute in a quick-moving first quarter. I just jinked us. <laughs> Highlands leads at 7 nothing. Wilson in motion again. Flint's going to run option left this time. Ooh, fumble. Harrington fumbles. It it's loose. It. Highlands is on it, I believe, at the 42-yard line. Tyler Bender. And Harrington lost it again. Two fumbles for Harrington. Golden Rams take over again in the Indiana Territory. Let's make them pay the price, Mike. Now they did the first time. Quickly, too. On one play. Let's see if they try that again. First and 10 at the Indiana, 43 at 52 seconds left of the first quarter. 7-0 Highlands. Down here at the bottom of the screen is Elijah Coleman. Saunders in motion. They're going to run a toss to White. Tries to get to the corner. outside. Gets a block. He's at the 40, the 35. First down, Highlands inside the 30-yard line. DJ Loveland did a great job of securing that corner for him. But once you get Brock the corner, he's going to make something happen. Pick up by 12 on that play. Mention a 4-3-4 defense for Indiana. They start 63. Jake McCracken at one end. The other end is 71. Matt Nelson tackles 55. Gavin Miller, 78. Tanner Smith. Linebacker 13. Aaron Nickus, 83. Gavin Bernard. And number 39, Ben Nettleton. Saunders in motion. Loveland in a slot to the right. They're going to run it the other side this time. This is White. Cuts it inside to 30 and down to the 27, maybe the 26-yard line. Harrington had him by the ankles. Got him off his feet. That time with Saunders has sealed the corner. So both times, every time you can seal that corner, your running back's going to get decent yardage. Corners for Indiana, 32, Corbin Wilson, and 2, Devin Flint. Safety's 15, Liam McFarland, and 26, Zach Harrington. Rams don't have to run a, another play if they don't want to. 12 seconds left of the first quarter. They lead it 7-0. Clock down to five now seconds, and now we jump the, jump the gun there. Yep. Four for 20 now for Highlands. That was almost like they were in such a hurry to get it off before the end of the quarter. Was it with a five yards out yeah, in quarter? Yeah. And that'll run the quarter out too, man. They will, yep. and that will be the end of the first quarter here at Golden Ram Stadium with your score. Highland 7, Indiana nothing. El Ron Gillette Towing and Services is a registered contractor certified in PA State Inspections and Emissions. Call Gillette's today for all your towing, paving, excavating, hauling, demolition, and snow removal needs. Planning a cleanup? Run a 10-yard curb box. One call and you can dump it all. Gillette Towing is fully licensed, insured, bonded, and certified and owns all of its state-of-the-art equipment. And Gillette's are proud to enjoy an A-plus rating from the Better Business Bureau. Call Gillette's at 724-226-1222. Phones answer 24-7, 365 for emergency services and as always it's person to person find them on the web at ronjoletteinc.com or on facebook Ron Gillette Inc. towing and more Ron Gillette towing and services ak valley's leader since 1955 mike dan the cameraman getting a shot of the band great to see they're here with us this week last time they had to perform before the game oh by the way i've been instructed by frankie girardi he was here earlier but yep go to bed frankie i said i gave you to the end of the third quarter last week he said <laughs> tell me at the end of the first quarter <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the way, Mike, you have a member of your breakfast club behind us, Steve Mr. Meaner, Meaner right? And that, that is, uh, it's nice that you people are with us early. We appreciate it. Uh, Highlands High Sports on YouTube. 
please subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. Give us a like. These things are very important in this new day and age and newfangled thing we do. Other than just show you the game on Tuesday night on Channel 190, which we appreciate. I always turn it on about 9 o'clock in the morning. I always see there's like 25 people already have watched the game. Steve's one of those guys. He gets up early with the coffee. The coffee club, we call it. Let's give him something to watch tomorrow. Second and 11 at the Indiana 32. Rams and Brown moving right to left in the second period. Hit Saunders. Saunders in motion. Going to run a toss to White. Cuts it again. Gets hit, and they got him this time. Went to the well once too often. Down at the bottom of the pile for the Indians is number 39, Ben Nettleton, the junior linebacker. That's one time Mike Saunders went through the lead to block him, but couldn't find anybody to hit. They had already been passed. Third and 11 for Highlands. Seven to nothing. They scored 14 seconds in on the first offensive play on a Caleb White 22-yard strike from Chandler Timmons. Now they're going to reset Saunders to the left. Timmons looks to the sidelines for instructions. Play clock down to 10. Second week in a row, Mike, the wide receivers are not going to the huddle. They're getting signals from the sidelines. They just stay where they're at. And they give us to White. White breaks one tackle, now cuts it. Is it the 30, the 25, and inside the 25 to the 24-yard line is going to make that fourth down a little easier. Made the first guy miss, Mike, and picked up by what, eight? When you, when you hand it off on third and 11, you know you're going for it on, third, on fourth down. Through that. Fourth and three. At the 24 yard line. It's a long two, more like it even. So here go the Rams on fourth down. Runner pass. Highlands, five for eight on fourth down this They're year. Running. Give it to White. He's got it. A first down at the 20. Make it make it five for five for nine. Six for nine on fourth downs this year. That's pretty good percentage, Mike. Very. Well, our third downs aren't great. Only about 24%. But 66% on fourth down. So it's first down, Highlands now. That's our third of this game. They go quickly now, and now Chandler gets his instructions. First down, Highlands, at 10-15 left of the first half. Going into the band in the end zone, Mike. I like the bands in the end zone. Everybody's six foot apart down there. We got the increased capacity about 800 tonight. Timmons back there. He goes the there. He's got him. It's Coleman inside the 10. And Coleman takes it down to the eight yard line. Timmons with another one of those slants. He throws those expertly. It's a 12 yard gain, and it's first and goal. Highlands at the eight. Chandler three for three, 40 yards through the air, and one touchdown so far. Two for Coleman for 17. Coleman now 13 catches on the season. First and goal, Highlands at the eight. We almost want to go Brock short side here because there's not a whole lot of people over there. Now he's going to go, go to wide. the wide Nobody side of the field going. at the 10. White turns five, barrels his way into the end zone. But we got a flag now. Hold the phone. A flag down at the eight yard line. Mike, he did a great job of waiting. That he time. really there did. There were eight defenders over there, but he just let him keep running toward the corner. He cut it back up inside. Holding call against the Rams will bring it back. That's tough, Mike. So it'll be first and goal from the 18. That's a tough one because that's what takes a touchdown off the board. 9.23 to go. Second quarter, Hyde is leading 7 to nothing. Of course, Chandler was questionable last week. He was beat up the week before in uh, Hampton. Hampton, but he was an Oriole and hung in there last week to get the game in. He's back. He looks. Going to run his middle screen over the middle to Saunders. Saunders barrels through a man or two. Takes it inside the 15 to the 14-yard line and left a couple of headaches in his wake. I like that pass, Mike. It only, picked it only got four yards, but it was very entertaining. Second and goal. That's the second catch of the year for Saunders in the second in as many weeks. Four for four. Everybody said how fast things are going, Mike. When you don't throw an incomplete pass and the other team just runs it, it's going to be fast. 8.45 left of the first quarter. Second and goal. 
Timmons back. Looking. Ooh. Now he gets out of there. Keeps his balance. He's room. at the 15-10. And now he gets hit as he gets back to the seven-yard line. Harrington was down there again. Also 58 for the Indians. Gavin Prebish. So Chandler takes it down to the seven. A seven-yard game. Third and goal for Highlands. So this will be interesting. Wide side of the field to the left. Well, let's make it, Mike, because I don't want to have to deal with the field goal. Yeah, Chandler has been good with that. Coming to the sideline yeah. a little slowly. We'll take a timeout. Highlands at 8.02 left first half. Give me a chance to talk to you about B-Knee Home Renovations. Right over the hill, Mike, is where Brian Knee lives, and he's done a beautiful job. There's a wall over there. If you want to see some really nice work, not only is he doing work for others, but taking care of himself. If you've been putting out that much needed work around the house, why not let the pros of B-Knee Home Renovations help you kick off the football season? New kitchen, bathroom, game room, or addition to make your home a winner. Over 100 years combined experience under Brian Knee and his team of professionals at B-Knee Home Renovations guarantee your job will be completed on time and exactly the way you want it. And rest assured that Brian and his staff are now working 12-hour days to combat any delays brought on by COVID-19. As always, customer service is their top priority. Give Brian a call at 724-351-3172 for a free estimate or visit their Facebook page. Beanie Home Renovations with a B is always busy. Mike, I did something crazy. I called to get my furnace checked. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking I'm ahead of the game. They said, have you heard of COVID-19? We haven't been to anybody's since March. <laughs> we'll get you uh, maybe by the end of November. <laughs> Thank God, Donnie Bush, remember? Yes, Mr. Sir. Bush, his son Donnie does a little work on the side and he took care of the old coach. I put it that way. <laughs> Ninth play of the drive, third and goal Highlands at the Indiana 7. This drive started at the Indians 43 after Tyler Bender's fumble recovery, the second Indiana turnover. The Rams would love to punch it in here. Is this four down territory? This I'm saying, I don't know about DJ and his uh, kicking ability. That's from an angle. Yeah. Now, he's been very good. He's got the leg to make it from here, certainly. Well, let's not have to worry about it. This is a touchdown. Wide side to the left. Loveland is in the slot. And Timmons is back, and he fires, and it's incomplete. Boy, it looked like I got him. I might have had a hold of DJ a little bit early, but up in the air, incomplete, and it's fourth down. Well, we're about to find out. First incompletion for Timmons on the night. Fourth and goal, and they don't appear to be getting ready to kick. And you, and you figure with, yeah. with with the Highlands yeah. defense, worse comes to worse, you leave you leave them down there. Right. Dean, I'm smelling a fade. Yeah, we got. Uh, this is this is fa this is fade territory for Highlands. Down to uh, Caleb White down here to our left. Twins left, twins right. Rams have timeouts left. They, Indiana wants a timeout. Indiana out, wants timeout. You can hear their coaches in the boots to our left now. The coaches have changed sides this year. That's the first Indiana timeout. I just thought of something, Mike. I coach Donnie Bushman. Mr. Bushman coached my son, Kenny. How, How about, about that? that? You know, it all comes back. <laughs> Miss Planet, that guy. He was a great guy. Planet Fitness at the Heights Plaza in Natrona Heights is your home of the judgment-free zone. Planet Fitness provides a unique setting where everyone, and we mean everyone, is free to work out in a non-intimidating environment for as little as $10 a month. At Planet Fitness, we know staying active is more important now than ever, and it's essential to maintaining good health. Go to planetfitness.com and check out Fit Facts and learn how we're keeping you healthy in and out of our clubs. Planet Fitness is ready to keep you motivated and moving. Remember, memberships are available for as low as $10 a month, so stop in and say hi to Ross at Planet Fitness at the Heights Plaza today. Mike, even though we let 800 in tonight, uh, there was no cells at the gate, so still got some people up on California Avenue, and there's the banners with all the band members, yes. senior band members, and we have the football team, and I believe it's uh, the cheerleaders, too, are out there. And someone's burning leaves. One of the smells of fall. Uh, it might be at least I knees, for at all least, we know. At least I think those are leaves. <laughs> 7.58 remaining in the first half. The Rams lead 7-0. I said it might be the knees for all we know. All right, here we're going to go for it on fourth down. Mike, they had trips, a 
Yeah, she be twins. I'm still waiting sides. for my yep. fade to Caleb White down here at the bottom of your screen. So same formation, Mike. Nothing. Steve wants there. a quarterback draw. We like that. Timmons is back. He looks. He's in trouble. He needs uh, uh, to get out of there. He does. Uh, now he fires it for the end zone. It's yes. a touchdown to Brock White. Unbelievable. How there was not a man downfield, I'll never know. But White catches another touchdown, and the Rams lead it 13 to nothing. What a job by Chandler. Great job to scramble him. Better pass, Mike. And I, I knew he, one thing. He had to throw it. I was worried about him not trying to throw it. Brock White catches his fifth touchdown of the season. He's been a real threat, Mike, as far as running backs come out of the backfield. And he was so deep in the corner. It was amazing. So it's been Brock White and Caleb White from Timmons. Signorella puts it down. Loveland boots it up over top of the band, and it's good. It could be a little bit of a dangerous spot down there. The Rams lead at 14 0. 748 left first half. Are we having fun yet? Signorella did a nice job getting that snap down, too, Mike. Now, if you were someone you know or in need of physical or occupational therapy, I can't imagine that would be anybody in this booth. <laughs> Why not consider the caring therapist at Phoenix Rehabilitation and Health Services? And Charlotte Heights. First, let's hear, let's hear the band. Nice to have back, huh? It is. The Phoenix specializes in one-on-one -on -one personal care, coupled with the latest techniques and equipment in physical therapy services. They deal with any type of injury, specializing in orthopedic conditions, including sports and workers' comp injuries. Phoenix will help you with your goal of returning to the activities you love the most. Phoenix Rehabilitation and Health Services, conveniently located at 1601 Union Avenue in Natrona Heights. They have flexible hours to allow for social distancing and are following all COVID guidelines. Call them today at 724-224-5090 to set up an appointment or on the web at phoenixphysicaltherapy.com. Not only me, Mike, but other people in this booth have used Adrian and Phoenix and uh, always get great reviews and uh, HIPAA compliance doesn't allow us to say who, but <laughs> Everybody's gone. Been very pleased to go see Adrian at Phoenix Rehab. She's helped me. She can help you. Fourteen to nothing. And DJ Loveland with his foot into the ball. Uh -oh. We have offside on Highlands. Okay. They did this last week, didn't they, Mike? On a kickoff. So we'll do it again. That drive, 10 plays for the Rams, 43 yards. <laughs> and it took, goodness, it took 413. It took 505 to go 43 yards. So we cashed in on both. Uh, both turnovers, 14 yeah. points off turnovers. The Rams have done a much better job uh, at creating and not turning it over as much this year. They've turned it over eight times and taken it away 11. They're a plus three and have played the toughest teams in, this, in the conference already. Indiana has yet to putt in this game. They trail 14-0. Loveland boots it. Coming down to Wilson. 30. 35. And he gets up to the 37-yard line. Khalil Long was down there again. So Indiana has good field position. First and 10 at the 37. Signorella also in that tackle. Yes, Landon. <laughs> you call him Dylan last week? I did. <laughs> Apparently Dylan was thrilled to hear his name. There so. you go. <laughs> you made somebody have Anything I could do. He said, <laughs> so see, they remember me. It says, still, we remember you. First down for Highland or Indiana at the 37-yard line. The Rams lead at 14-0. DJ got to get the T. <laughs> <laughs> What a great uh, play by Chandler and Brock White standing back there. Brock White this year has caught 10 passes, five of them for touchdowns. That's impressive. Here's the give to Harrington. Oh, and the Rams Saunders. say no as Saunders threw him back like a rag doll. But the key was Nelson had him by his ankles. Like, you get something to grab him down there, he's not going too far. Two-yard pickup. Next week, the Rams will travel to Armstrong for the first time ever to play the River Hawks. We're going to get to check off another stadium. We will check off a new stadium. That's We have been there for basketball, and we have been to both Catanning and Ford City for football, but never to Armstrong, so we got to look at a new spot. They're going to run a double reverse, oh, and held. McFarland wanted to throw it, and White hit him, and down he goes at the 40-yard line. Well, Keen was held. He was, and, right and Brock White messed the play up because McFarland was going to throw that. 
They sent Aaron Nickus down the middle of the field, but he was covered down there by Elijah Coleman. He had him, and that's why McFarland couldn't throw the ball. White and Saunders in on that tackle, but again, Joaquin was held right in front of everybody. So McFarland gets a yard to the 40, third and seven. Big third down. Don't jump. Oh, what happened? They're going to call it late. Yeah. It was a late call. They did, but they did drop the flag. Here's offside against the Rams, says Norm Scarberry. And the Rams have committed 40 yards uh, in penalties seven here after. Turn, seven penalties, 40 yards. They put those away for a week. Indiana's only had one for five. But that's just keeping them in the game. And third and two for Devin Flint. It's, you, know, you pretty much want to keep the ball in his hands right now. Or draws offside again. 6.20 left first half. 14 nothing Highlands. And now oh, they have trouble with it. It's on the ground again. Who's going to come up with it? And, and the Rams say they have it, but they do. Khalil Long has it. And that's the third time that Harrington has fumbled tonight. This time they had trouble on the exchange, and Khalil Long comes up with it for the Rams. How about that, Mike? Can we make it pay three times in a row? That's the question. Wow, the Rams defense coming up big, forcing three turnovers, two by the defense and one by the special teams. And Harrington's had his ball on all a hand on all of the fumbles tonight. Golden Rams got to work also in Indiana territory again. Boy, you take advantage of these. They're going to go trips left this time with Signorella White and Loveland. And here is Timmons back. Oh, Timmons day. is going to throw it deep. He's got a man streaking down the sideline. And, a, and a, a great defensive play by D.J. Loveland to knock it away from Elijah Coleman. Elijah Coleman. Yes, that's exactly what happened. In, two Highlands, in other words, two Highlands players are running in the same area for the ball. But there's a flag down anyway. Why does that happen? Well, someone's in the wrong place. Now, is that kind of an incompletion or no play? No, if they're going to take the penalty, so it's just wiped out. All right, that means Chandler is six for seven so far. I mean, five for six so far. 51 yards, two touchdowns. No, it's a spot file. So that'll put the ball all the way back at the Highlands 41-yard line. That's 50 yards in penalties for the Rams. Ouch. First and nine and 24. First and 24. First in the Rainbow Inn. Play action, and Timmons fires, and he's got Coleman again. Coleman makes a man miss. He's at the 40, 35, 30. Go, Look at Coleman go. 25, 20, first down Highlands at the Indiana 17-yard line. Boy, what a gear he shook. A little shift there by Elijah. He sure did, Mike. And Timmons is six for seven. It was a post that became a slant when he turned it up after he made that first guy miss. 39 yards. 90 yards in passing now. 39 or 49? 39. 39. Right. 39 right. Nine and 30. Nine and 30. First down at the Indiana 20 from the pistol this time. They give it to White, and White's hit and knocked off his feet as he gets to the 19-yard line. Well done there. Junior cornerback Corbin Wilson comes up to make the stop. Burl Math. Don't mess with her, am I? That's, that's both of us. I'll have you know. <laughs> yeah. Second and nine for the Rams. Clock winds to 5.20 in a, I'll say it again, a brisk moving first half at Golden Rams Stadium. The Rams lead at 14-0. They converted two Indiana turnovers and trying to do it for a third time. Timmons again fires, and it's too tall for Coleman, and he got a hit. As that time, uh, Harrington got a piece of him. The pass was too tall for Coleman. Coleman's looking for any kind of help he can for the official, but I didn't think there was anything wrong there. Can you say exposed ribs? Yes. Third and eight. If I were
were to tell you that Garrett Cole got his 100th career playoff strikeout by striking out Austin Meadows, does that make Pirate fans want to throw up? <laughs> oh, did Tyler Glasgow pitching against him. Pirates are in the playoffs, Bill says. Yes, they are. Pitch wide to White. There's White to the near side of the field. Cuts it. And doesn't have much running room as he gets it down to the 18-yard line. Tell you one thing, Mike. Indiana pursues the ball pretty good. They do. They do. They're two and two. Their two wins have come against Greensburg, Salem, and Knock, and they've lost to Indiana or Armstrong and Plum. A big win against the Knights last week. It's fourth down. Well, if we went from the seven, we're going to go from here for sure. You would think. Fourth down. And eight. Wide side of the field to the right this time. Timmons looking. Here they come. Looks up the middle this time. Gives a shake and bake to the lineman coming after him. Now Chandler's in big trouble. And down he goes at the 38-yard line. And a big sack. That play was made by 63 Jake McCracken, the junior defensive end, who was all over Chandler that time. 20-yard loss in that play, Mike. And only a sophomore. One mistake Chandler made. He turned his back to the play. When you do that, there's no way to pass it. A 20-yard sack. Yeah. Great defensive play. And sets Indiana up for great field position out at the 38-yard line. This is this is exactly where they started their last possession before they fumbled on the first play. Well, let's see if we can do it again. Well, that's the first time we didn't convert one of their turnovers. Yep. The Rams turned that over. We talked about how well they had done on fourth downs this year. First down, Indiana at the 38. Flint keeps it, and Flint gets tripped up as he gets over to the 40 to the 43-yard line. Drake Burford got a piece of him. Yep, he got the knee. So, you know, with 3.40 to go, the clock's a factor as small chunks as they're getting, you know? Yep. Second and five. Give this time is to Harrington. Harrington looks like he's got a yeah, first, down. first down at the 49-yard line. Tyrus Kerr makes the stop for Highlands, but that's first down Indiana. They're first of the second quarter, and they're fifth of the game. Conference tonight, Mike, we got Armstrong at Greensburg, Salem. Morris is not big one tonight. Plum at Hampton. Hampton three and one. Flint's going to keep it, and he gets some room. That's Highlands 40, 35, 30. Flint down the sideline to the Highlands 25-yard line, where he's finally run out of bounds by Chiron Long. That's the X factor, Mike. He gets around that corner. He can break one. I mentioned he had a 60-yard against a pretty stout plum defense. Now the clock's not a factor. They're down at the Highlands 24. And Highlands wants a timeout. Yeah, I think they're a little gassed on defense, Mike. Gives us a chance to talk about Highland Tire. There's no better time than right now to stop in Highland Tire and Highland Integrity Alignment. See why they've been voted the best place to buy tires in the AK Valley since 1993. Best oil chain since 1995, and they are, this year they voted number one for auto repair. Founded by Butch Bonnet in 1961, Highland Tire offers one of the largest and most complete inventories of tires and wheels in the Pittsburgh area. And as always, if you don't see it on site, they'll order it for you. Visit HighlandTire.com or give them a call in Trenton, 724-224-9222. And in Trenton Heights, 724-224-7900. Or Highland Integrity Alignment at 724-224-5900. Highland Tire now offering oil changes at both locations, service integrity price we deliver. Mike, I want to give you some food for thought. All right. 1990 is the same years away from 2050. Think about that for a second. 2020, 1990 seems like yesterday, but it's as far away as 2050. <laughs> no, 
now. It's scary, isn't it? I'll be here. I was going to say, <laughs> I won't be here in 2050. I, I don't think. I got a plan. <laughs> there's a chance I might be, but it's doubtful. The 1990, I do remember. First down Indiana at the 24. That was yesterday for me. Yeah, it kind of was. Flint's back. He's uh, going to throw it on the wheel. He got him. Guy. And it's Wilson down to the six. You talk about we have trouble with that. Yep, that will tr always is trouble. Sig on the tackle, land the Signorella, but not until gets it down inside the 10. First down from the 24 to the 6. It's an 18-yard gain, and it's first down Indians. Boy, you talk about the difference here, the swing of momentum from Highlands not scoring, and Indiana right. might be coming right back down to put it in. And I'll start with that sack. He got no place no, this Nowhere time. this time as the Rams are there waiting for him. And that's big number four, Jeremiah Saunders. He guessed right, Mike. They're going to give him back to the seven, a loss of one. Second so and goal. Here's where we have our great debate. That counts as a sack. No, it doesn't. It yes, wasn't a pass. It, does. it yes, was it not does. a pass. He's it's a quarterback. A... He's brought for a loss. It's a sack. It was a run. It's Ask not George a... Guido. It's not a... I don't George care. Told. He's wrong this time. Second and goal. Wilson in motion don't goes jump. back. Don't jump. No, they're good. 13 on the play clock. Two minutes to go in the half. Be a big swing of high and it's going to stop him. Here he goes, right up the middle Lift again. Up the middle, dives to the goal line and is in. Touchdown, Indiana. Now, Wilson would not be denied that time as he squirted through there. It's a seven yard touchdown, and the Indians do put that down payment on that change of momentum. Flint is slippery, Mike, and that time he got through. At 150 left of the first half, that is a big score for Indiana. Now, last week when they scored, they went for two on the first one, but they're going to kick it this time, and Josh Glazer is in there to do it. The holder is Aaron Nickus. Good news, Hines gets the ball to start the second half. Here Ready comes out. the Tsar's army. Unfortunately, they never snapped the ball. Now what do we do? Now they might go for two. Again, last week they did it on the first one, and they're taking the kicking team off. This becomes an important extra point. It's funny how big a one-yard penalty can be. Yeah. They don't have 11 guys out there? 14 6. I thought going to get 12 13 guys. Brandon yeah, Overdorf going to chase some points, and now yeah. we'll see what the flag's about. Caught him up. And now they really cost themselves because it was a one yard penalty going this way. It'll be a five yard penalty. Now they picked it up. Timeout, Indiana. They get the timeout before the penalty. They had 12 guys on the field. That's why they called timeout. <laughs> Thought I saw a lot. <laughs> 150 left of the first half. It's crazy. Highlands had it all the way down to the Indiana 18 on fourth down, and then the sack was made on Chandler Timmons, but it was not only a sack, it was a 20 yard sack. Indiana started at the 38. And six plays later, they're in the end zone. And Mike, they're ready to go, but there's nobody for the defense out there. I mentioned they beat Knock last week 29 to 9. So now they're going to kick, I think. Maybe. Yeah. Hampton beat uh, Greensburg Salem 42 to 9. Marsh shot out Armstrong 27 0. We play Armstrong next week at Armstrong. So. The second verse, same as the first. Glazer will kick it. Ball is down. Kick on the way. Plenty long enough, and it's good. It's 14-7 Highlands at 150 left of the first half. Mike, the top five and four have not changed yet. Thomas Jefferson, number one. Aliquippa, number two. Chartier's Valley, number three. Plum, number four. Belvern, number five. Interesting thing about Thomas Jefferson, they had no game last week. You know why? Oh, was there a Bell Vernon? No, it's Union Town, and they know. Oh, and they, I thought they were coming back. I think they are eventually. They are, but they, they and they played. They just said, we're not playing. We're not playing you. you. Oh, you that's a good that? way to do it. Yep. Speaking of which, uh, there was a forfeit tonight. Do you know who? Tennessee Titans? <laughs> no. Manessa forfeited a game to Carmichael's. Manessa, Mike, once time proud football Once program. proud Manessa, yeah. 13 players. Can you believe that? Yeah, and that one doesn't have anything to do with uh, all this stuff that's going yeah. on. 
Yeah, it's happening more and more. Like, but this year, um, the participation appears to be up, and it's almost like that. This that may be a, a, a good side of all this. That you know, I, I hope that it does get more kids out. The most interesting game of the night, Mike, tonight is Aliquippa Shar Valley at Aliquippa. They're both unbeaten in the Parkway Conference. We know Aliquippa in their pride football sure. tradition. Shar Valley lost 14 in a row in 5A, and now they're 4-0 in 4A. All right, Caleb. It's going to happen once this year. Kick it to two. Why not now? Offside uh, on them now. Aliquippa beat Beaver last week 50-7. They, they have to be looking for that. Shar Valley make 41-14 over Blackhawk. Remember I talked about that big game, Withrop against uh, Gallagher, right. Bell Vernon against Laurel Highlands. Wasn't that big after all. 49-0, Bell Vernon. <laughs> So Roddy may be thinking about that football career. <laughs> Roddy's playing quarterback, right? You mentioned yeah, that last week. Guess who he plays tonight? I don't know who. Thomas Jefferson. You mean they didn't they didn't know Moss that one? They actually yeah. showing up? Yeah. Not Rodney. We we learned that about Rodney last year. He is a stud. And Thomas Jefferson had a week to rest up. He the dragged game. those guys to that championship. Oh, he sure did. Pete Mars, remember? Yes, sir. It's never a bad thing. <laughs> Here's the kick. <laughs> Try it again. This is DJ Loveland at the 13-yard line. 15, 20. Oh, here he comes through a hole. He's up over the 30, the 35, 40. Go, Mike, Loveland, 45, 40, 40, 45, 40. There you goes DJ it, Loveland. 87 yards. Touchdown. You called it, Mike. We haven't had one in a while. Now we do. DJ Loveland. 87 yards. Cut them all. That's big, Mike. That's a momentum shifter. Nobody laid a glove on him. And one of the highest blockers, Mike, pulled up smartly because they could have got him for a block in the back. But Both of those guys, DJ and Caleb, have been tremendous returning kicks this year, both of them. And it was only a matter of time. And I'll tell you what, you saw some speed there. DJ turned on the Jets. And now let's see if he has enough left yeah, to kick the extra see. point. Right. Signorella holding at the post to our left. It's on the tee. The kick is on its way, and it is good. Wow, he drilled that, and too. the Rams lead it 21-7. to They strike 14 seconds later. They scored 14 seconds into the game, and then they scored 14 seconds after Indiana scored. Like I said, Mike, I think that's a big momentum changer going into halftime. 21-7. to 7. We, You talked about it, Dean. We haven't had one in a while. Well, you Probably it. back to a Logan Cray, who I'm sure is down there somewhere. Logan. He's helping out this Helping year. out. And uh, at halftime, we'll tell you. We'll find it, and we'll find out the last one. 21-7, the Rams that. lead it. Yeah. find it. I do, ha I do have it in here. I'll dig it out at halftime. We'll give it to you with the stats. <laughs> Hopefully it wasn't 1990. That's no, as far I don't, as I'm not going back that far. <laughs> I'm not going back that far. Yeah, I, maybe we'll see the next one in 2050. Mike. I have the last Hopefully like 12 not. years of stats in there. I'll be able to find it. Now it's very important that the Rams don't let them do anything. Yeah, there's been some momentum switch. Now Cam Rieger kicks it and kicks it down a, a, a little pooch-type kick where Cameron Walls picks it up and takes a knee. So Indiana's going to have great field position out at the 40. And I've been impressed by this junior quarterback, Devin Flint. He's slippery, Mike. He is. Is that how we say slippery? Slippy. But sl slappy? Slappy. <laughs> We like Jared Sleppy. He was something else. All right, Indiana going to get to work here at 134 to go, trailing 21 to 7. Let's see what they can do first and 10. Now they run it quickly out of the out of that set. Look over to the sidelines. There are five seconds left on the play clock. And Flint straight back. He's looking. Ooh, he He's going to fire it deep. It's going to be intercepted yep. by D.J. Loveland at the 20-yard line. But let's give some credit out to Nelson and Saunders and Joaquin Roman. They're celebrating there at midfield, Mike, because they put a lick on Flint. 
fourth turnover for Indiana. The interception by DJ Loveland. And that is his second interception of the year. He leads the Rams in that department. And the Rams get the ball back at the 20 at the 19 yard line. What are we going to do, Mike? Walk in at halftime or try to put the ball in the air? I'm okay if they go for this this time. That's unusual for me. But not now. You kind of got them back on their heels. You got 124. You don't have any timeouts. But Timmons back. Rolls right this time. Looking. Throws it. Caught. Making a move, Signorella up over the 30 to the 32-yard line. What Sig did that time, Mike, he went, ran out 12 yards, just planted himself right there. Big target. Timmons found him, and now, Mike, he's got 102 yards passing. This. That makes 11 in a row, 100-yard games for Pretty Chandler impressive. Timmons. He's got him, Coleman. And he fires it over the middle, and Coleman has it at the 37. That's where they'll put it. Quick six yards. Second and four. Timmons again to the near side of the field this time. It's caught by Loveland at the 40. Go, Tries to get to the sideline and does. I think he got the first down to boot. Loveland out of bounds at the 40. Let's see where they put it. Not sure. First down, Highlands. It's a four-yard pickup. That's DJ's first catch. Is that true? That's hard to believe. Yeah, that is, Mike. <laughs> He's done a lot of other things. Timmons back, looking. Going to throw it underneath again. This one's caught, and DJ takes it out of bounds at the 45-yard line. Another four-yard pickup. I think we need more than four-yard exactly, chunks in 35 yeah, seconds. Man. It's nice, but 35, you got to go deep. Maybe this is the pump fake. But Chandler's, yeah. Chandler's doing well with his uh, with his percentage tonight. Yeah, he's 11 for 12, according to me. By the way, Logan Kreiss is the last Highlands player to run a kickoff back for a touchdown. He did it twice, um, 86 yards at Amber. 77 yards here against Albert Gallatin, and that was 2017. So that's your answer. Now Timmons over the middle, the incomplete, coverage. almost intercepted. Yeah. Double coverage, there are five guys down there. <laughs> there were five white shirts and lonely DJ. <laughs> 29 seconds to go here, Mike. Third and six. Yeah, so 2017, two by Logan Christ, which is no surprise because he was the touchdown man of many, many means. He also brought an interception back at Blackhawk that year for a touchdown. So. Outstanding career for Logan. Brother Johnny on the roster at Penn State, Mike. Yeah, I saw him as listed as number 83, Dan. Works for me. Timmons throws it. Caught by Coleman. Turns it back in. He went the wrong way. He He's at now. the 50. Yeah. Now he gets out of there. Oh, Elijah figured that out quickly and got out of bounds. To the Indiana 47. It's an eight-yard gain. Another first down. Clock stops on the out-of-bounds play at 22 seconds. All right. Now we can take a couple deep shots, huh? Chandler's thrown the ball 14 times in this first half. Is that what you heard? 14, yeah, 12 of 14. First down on the Indiana 47. Timmons back. Aaron and he out. looks, Aaron. and he's going to throw it deep, and it's going to be incomplete. Batted away by Devin Flint again. Look again. Two men in the three. same area. Why? I have no idea why it happens. Second down and 10. Wonder if the wonder if the hook and ladders in the, in the playbook for tonight. The middle school ran it the other day, Mike. We've run it for touchdowns since Dom's been here. I mean, it, it's it's not just a play they bring out for show. It's Was it I think they've done it three times for a touchdown. 
Timmons will throw it. He looks. He middle. guns it over the middle. Almost intercepted. Getting a hand on it was Gavin Bernard, the linebacker, dropping back into coverage. And couldn't hold on. Had the pick. Well, third and ten, throw it in the end zone, see what happens. And if I'm Indiana, guess what? I'm grabbing everybody. I'll tell you what I do. I run a quick one to the sideline. I'd run a quick one to the sideline and get out of bounds, and then you have a, then you have a chance. And if I'm Indiana, I'm grabbing everybody. Yeah, sure, because, again, it doesn't hurt you. 15 yards. Eight seconds left of the half. Highlands leads 21-7. Timmons is back, and he throws it over the middle, spinning his Brock White with a football. White gets away from him, man. Now he's got a lot of score. He's at the 30. One more 25, nice 20, one. still spinning, 15. White, 10, 5. Touchdown. Brock White scores. Unbelievable. You've got to be kidding me. Time had expired, Mike. He had to get in the end zone, and guess what? He did it. Brock White yards. did it all by himself. 47 yards. And the Rams do score on the last play of the half. Mike, my Facebook post, he said, hot in the 21, Indiana 7. I got to change that now. <laughs> Oh, boy, Indiana got to be beside themselves on that. Highland scores twice in the last minute, 36. And, oh, DJ finally missed an extra point at the end of the first half. So the Rams on Brock White's sixth touchdown reception of the year. That's the end of the first half with the score. The Highlands Golden Rams 27, the Indiana Indians 7. We'll be back with stats and more.